Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 13C demo series. Once you've discovered your Exadata target, use the Targets Exadata menu option to open the Oracle Exadata Database Machines page. Then, click through on the Exadata DBM of interest. The Exadata DBM schematic is displayed on the home page. A new feature in Cloud Control 13C is the ability to display a photorealistic view of the hardware, showing both the front and the back of the machine. Use the Zoom radio buttons to zoom in on this view of the DBM. Hovering over the components shows you their name. For example, this switch, this PDU, and the second PDU. In the case of this particular PDU, the component is outlined in red to indicate there's an incident associated with it. Clicking on it will display the details. Clicking on the link to the critical incident count will open the list of incidents for this target. Clicking on an individual incident causes the details to be displayed. In this case, a phase hardware threshold overrun. Returning to the Exadata DBM homepage, if we switch back to the schematic representation, we can still hover over components to see information about them. We can also see a software view of the Exadata database machine by selecting the Software View tab. Here we see our ASM target and our Rack database, which in this case is a container database with pluggable database. Using the Database Machine menu, we can take a look at resource utilization for this DBM. This is showing us the CPU utilization graph, with more information displayed as we hover over the graph. We can switch to another perspective, such as memory utilization, again with more information available when we hover over the graph. Also new in Cloud Control 13C is the option to perform software updates on your Exadata database machine. Quarterly full stack updates will be shown here, where you'll be able to apply them. Also new in Cloud Control 13C is the system's infrastructure plugin that provides you with detailed information about your hardware components, such as your compute nodes. As with the overall database machine, you can see a photorealistic view of the hardware, as well as basic specifications in the dashlets at the top of the page. The number of open incidents is displayed. We can click through to see more detail. Returning to the components homepage, notice that hovering over the photorealistic view displays information about that target. Any component with an active incident will be outlined in red. We can use the controls under the dashlets to view more dashlets. Besides the hardware view, we can select the logical view tab to view tabulated information about this database machine component. We can see CPU details, including part numbers and locations. Similarly, for memory, we see detailed information about each memory module. All of this detailed information about your hardware is provided by the system's infrastructure plugin. From the database machine target navigation tree, we can open the Exadata Storage Server Grid homepage. Here, we're presented with information such as capacity, either as physical or virtual space. For I.O. distribution, we're shown the flash I.O. service and wait times. The performance graph shows data for both flash and hard disks. The I.O. activity section presents I.O. utilization data. From the navigation tree, we can open the home page for an individual storage cell, where we see the same information presented for the storage grid, but at the individual cell level. From the storage server menu, we can perform administration tasks, such as managing I.O. resources. In this case, the disk I.O. objective is automatic. We could add a plan for an individual database by selecting the database and entering the plan parameters. Clicking Update will apply the plan, but in this case, we'll just remove the plan without applying it. You can access the database resource management settings from this page if you wish. The Workload Distribution section shows you various metrics for both hard and flash drives. This information can help you develop your I.O. resource management plans, especially the graphs depicting the top five databases that are consuming your resources. New in Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 13C is the Flash Cache Space Usage tab, 
where you can see current usage metrics as well as historic metric data. The historic data can be used for determining flash cache resource limits. For example, we see that the DBM CDB database usage hasn't risen above 1,000 megabytes. Therefore, that would be a reasonable limit to set. The Exadata Storage Server Performance page displays graphs of various metrics for both flash and hard drives. By electing to show the total maximum cell disk limit, the lower graphs are changed to display totals instead of maximums, with the disk limits represented by red lines. The maximum cell disk limit lines for I.O. per second and megabytes per second are per the data sheet for this specific Exadata configuration. Check the average I.O. utilization in conjunction with the maximum cell disk limit to identify if your workload is reaching hardware limits. New in Cloud Control 13C is the Flash Log tab. Here we see our flash storage operating at 100% efficiency, which is ideal. Any outliers will be displayed in the outlier graphs. The CPU tab displays CPU utilization for this storage server. From the Target Navigation panel, we can navigate to the home page for a database that's running on our Exadata database machine. In this case, the DBM CDB Container Database. Note that from the Database Administrator's menu, we can navigate directly to the Exadata home pages. If we navigate to the Performance page of a database instance and view the I.O. tab, we see buttons that will display the Exadata System Health and the Exadata System Performance pages. In this case, the Exadata System Health button is red, indicating that there is an open critical alert. Clicking through will open the Exadata Storage Server System page, where we see that a disk is offline. For that reason, the Health Overview graph is red. Thank you for watching.